All right, okay, here we go. Trying something different. Sparkling water, grapefruit flavor. No, trying something more exciting than that, we hope. Although, in my life right now, this is a, this is a pretty exciting development. I now not only enjoy sparkling water, I enjoy flavored sparkling water. This is not an ad. That can't be the intro, can it? We'll see. Hello, everybody. <laughs> For today's video, I wanted to react to something a little different. All over the internet, I have heard of cut videos, cut YouTube videos. This is a YouTube channel that does reality TV in fast forward, social experiments. What do you call this kind of content? I don't know, but it sounds right up my alley. <laughs> Watching people be people in potentially uncomfortable situations, like what could be better? Other than grapefruit flavored sparkling water. It's sugar free. I'm 80. For any of you who don't know me, hi, my name's Elena Joy. I make videos mostly about the queer community, sex, relationships here on this channel, but sometimes I react to cut videos. Now, now, apparently. <laughs> And that's what we're doing today. But before we get into the rest of the video, I wanna take a second to thank the sponsor of this week's content, Love Honey. Love Honey is the world's biggest online adult store. I've worked with them a bunch, you guys know, I love Love Honey because I love Wee Vibe. <laughs> But today I want to specifically talk to you about the Moxie. This is a type of toy that's considered a wearable toy. It's a vibrator. It's small, it's soft, it's discreet. But also, you can clip it into your underwear, baby. And you can control it using the remote because it's a hands-free toy or using the new and improved WeVibe app. Through the app, you can control this toy over Bluetooth if you're like in the same room or via Wi-Fi from anywhere. The long distance opportunities that this opens up are endless and you know us lesbians need long distance options. <laughs> like, just think about the possibilities for a minute. Let's take a moment of silence to think about the possibilities. You can wear this anytime, any place, and have it be controlled via an app by your partner from anywhere, anytime. You can also control multiple toys at once. So maybe both of you are wearing one. And you know that I'm getting you a discount. If you use my code, Elena20, you can get 20% off the Love Honey site, site-wide. Not just the Moxie, site-wide. It's linked in my description. Thank you very much, Love Honey, for continuing to partner with me. I appreciate you and what you do. Also, make sure you go and follow me over on Instagram if you haven't already, because that's where the magic happens. And without further ado, let's jump in. So when I type cut into YouTube, oh, just immediately, <laughs> we have truth or drink, my ex cheated on edition. We have dying people talking about death, people telling their first time having sex stories, daughter and mom playing truth or drink, rank us from richest to poorest. There's a lot happening. Oh my god, I feel like I see two women kissing? Trapped in the dark with my crush. I wanna watch everything. <laughs> there goes my afternoon. Should we just start with the, the freshest gay thing I see? <laughs> Guess my sexual orientation. This is going to be potentially problematic, but I'm also dying to know how good my gaydar is. This might bite me in the ass in a couple of minutes. I've got a pretty good gaydar. My gaydar is something that I take pride in. Let's just say I haven't been wrong yet. <laughs> Not that I know of, not that I know of. Are all of my guesses going to be based on nothing more than stereotypes? Or do I actually have a good gaydar like I, like I believe I do? Let's find out. Oh my God, I already have guesses. Okay, go. We asked people to guess the sexual orientation of strangers. I have a terrible time telling who's gay because like, you look at me, I would say that most people wouldn't assume that I'm gay. Wait, we don't get to guess? Oh no, are they gonna give spoilers? <laughs> don't give me spoilers. So I wanna guess these people before they say their sexual sexual orientation. I'm not as good with men. I'm not as good with men. Are we surprised? This guy, yeah, this guy's queer also. <laughs> Just watch me think everybody's queer. <laughs> it's, it's the world I live in, up in my head. Full of rainbows. What is your sexual orientation? I am straight, 
Ah, Weird, dang it. But... Wait, oh no, they're not letting me guess. I'm not getting enough time. Well, yeah, okay. Like, obviously, Jenna. Obviously. Let's bring up the line. Hello, everyone. Oh, gotcha. Okay. These first three people we've met, Orange Dress, Jenna, and Straight Boy, are going to be guessing the lineup's sexual orientations. Okay, so we'll guess along with them. Put your guesses in the comments down below. This feels... offensive? How's Jenna, it going? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. You look so sweet already. Oh. <laughs> like, I'm like, sweet is a gay thing, I think. Can you tell me about yourself, Jeff? I'm a very like avid like sports person. Sports? I studied math. I'd say math is like heavily male dominated field, so lots of like straight energy I'm getting from this guy. Oh, Jeff is tricky. Jeff is tricky. My first immediate thought when he walked up was queer. So I'm gonna stick I'm gonna stick with my instinct. Even though then when he started talking and we learned more about him, then I felt more hetero vibes. But my gut told me queer, so I'm going with queer. Can I just say queer already? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you do say it? that already? Like mullet, crop top, plaid. No, like, okay, so. <laughs> oh no! My, what if my gaydar is so bad? Yes, this person's aesthetic is reading queer. What does that even mean, right? I, and what does that even mean? I don't get queer, though. I, I don't feel it. I feel straight. I, I feel that this person is straight. I. I do not personally feel straight. Nobody clip that. Could you um, flirt with me a little bit? Um, I honestly can't. Women intimidate me. Women intimidate you. Mm. You want to talk about They're that a little more? All women are really pretty. <laughs> I don't ah. know what to say about that. <laughs> okay. Who do you think killed Jenny Schechter? What the hell is she talking about? Uh oh. Uh, Jenny Schechter is like the worst or best character on the L word and she doesn't know the L word how I think you're demisexual. Okay. Oh demisexual is an option? Okay, but demisexual Please tell me I know more about this than cut does but demisexual isn't a sexual orientation That's more of a well, I guess asexuality is a sexual orientation now I'm getting myself confused well because you could be straight gay queer pan bi and also be asexual demisexual allosexual are those not two different spectrums? That person totally gave off demisexual vibes, but like demisexual straight. Uh, oh god, I'm gonna be wrong. Because then when she talked, I had the opposite reaction as I did to Jeff, where my instinct when I saw her was straight. And then she started talking, and I thought, wait a minute, wait a damn minute. <laughs> I probably wouldn't come up to you, but if I did, I'd be like, oh, like, I love your outfit. Like, you're so pretty, you know? Okay. What do you well, this normally do for fun? I definitely do a lot of shopping. She gives straight vibes, but it's too obvious, right? Cut's gonna try to be tricky, but she gives straight vibes. It's the intonation in her voice that gives straight vibes. This is hard, and I kind of hate it. Izzy. Izzy, nice to meet Me you. Too. Izzy. You up, like, really okay, what about, like, were your parents, like, accepting? My mom is uh, gay, so yes. Okay, so her mom being gay might just mean that she's grown up to express herself more freely. And so she may come across as gay or queer when she's not because she's expressive. <laughs> Hard. Like, I'm also looking at people's nails, which I know, like, isn't the end-all be-all, but it can help sometimes if we're playing on stereotypes. She got nails. She got nails, which makes me want to say not gay. Or maybe just not a top. Or maybe a top who just, like, really knows what she's doing. How quickly did you move in with your partner? After three months. Oh, we've got a U-Haul situation. You're not attracted to the gender. Oh, the wait. Person. Oh, my God. I totally missaw her hands. The way that she was holding them like this, it looked like she had long nails. She got no nails. She got no nails. I changed my answer. Queer, 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 queer. Blue eyeliner, gold chain, pink hair, short nails, rings, pleather jacket. Pleather jacket, let's be honest. If she's queer, probably. That's gay. U-Haul, that's gay. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. She's gay. <laughs> she gay. I don't know if she pan. gay. I want her to be gay. But like... Pan, bi, I think, bi. Do you know who Charlie XCX is? She's the boom clap girl, right? Okay, that's giving really straight. Maybe. Uh oh. But not that look. That look was mad at me that I said that. <laughs> <laughs> Will you throw it like you're the straightest man at a baseball game? <laughs> okay. I can't tell if he's gay or just shy. <laughs> I'm gonna go with gay. Yeah, I'm going gay. But then is that, that's gay? I said gay for both the boys? Oh, I'm second guessing. I'm second guessing. Gay final answer. That ball throw was a little 
Should have gotten the women to throw balls. That would have helped. All right, you want to learn? Little okay, more? let's find out. Let's find out. Number one, queer. Number two, not queer. Three, not queer. Four, pan or bi. Five, pan or bi. Six, gay. I'm scared. Let's find out. You are straight. Straight. <gasps> straight. <laughs> Straight. He walked up, my gut told me gay, but then he started talking, and I went, mm, you, you're giving hetero vibes now when you're talking. Should have taken that into consideration. And you are asexual. 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 Okay, we said this. She does give off astemmy vibes, but just because a person is asexual, it generally means that they don't experience sexual attraction. It doesn't mean that they aren't interested in partnership, relationships, companionship. It also doesn't mean they're not interested in sex. So I'm curious if they're going to differentiate between those things in that this person is asexual, but I wonder if there's any gender preference in any other way. I do need like an emotional or romantic connection with someone to maybe eventually feel sexually attracted to them, but sometimes not even that is a guarantee. So mm -hmm. like the asexual umbrella feels safer to me. You can step forward. But what, to, to what gender? To any gender? To any gender? To one gender? To, to specific genders? I have follow-up questions. I got you wrong. I'm not straight. I'm a lesbian. Okay. However, I usually oh, use I knew they'd throw a tricky one in there. <laughs> Dang it, I talked such a big game. I talked such a big game to all of you. I talked such a big game in my everyday life about my gaydar, and it's not so good, turns out. A lot of people think that I'm straight, probably because of the way I feel. <sighs> I was so distracted by the, the the intonation of the way that she spoke, like this kind of speaking, which makes me think of straight girls, that kind of upward intonation at the end of every sentence. I was so distracted by that that I didn't even look at her fingernails. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Okay, I said you were a lesbian. Are you queer no. or straight? I'm straight. Straight. Hello, I got you okay. right. Bye. Yes. Correct. Yes, I am bisexual. Yes. Okay. okay, that one, that I had no questions. She just screams bisexuality in the best way. Bisexual women are so attractive. I said you were bi. Mm -hmm. Are you gay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we got gay. We got gay there. Pink hair threw me, but I'll take that L because she got a gay mom. That's gonna encourage her to express herself freely. And maybe part of the problem here, part of the confusion, is that often queer people, we've already broken out of this box of expected relationship roles, expected relationship styles. We've already crashed that train. That train has, what's the saying? <laughs> That train has left the station. That sip has shaled. Maybe we stop trying to speak in metaphors today. Maybe we stop trying to speak, period. What I'm trying to say is that freedom in self-expression often reads as queer because once you step away from society's expectations of you in one way, it's easier and easier to continue stepping farther and farther away from expectations in other areas. I'm just trying to not be bitter. I'm just trying to not be bitter <laughs> that I got those two wrong. That was... Embarrassing, honestly. I want another chance. <laughs> we're gonna do one more round of guesses to try to redeem myself, or we're gonna make it worse. Let's find out. Hi, I'm Woody Shtick. Hi, My Woody. Name is Could Woody possibly be queer? Yeah, I'm gonna go with queer for Woody. I'm gonna go with queer. Ooh, this person in the flower dress? Queer vibes. Wait, let's hear her talk. Let's hear her talk. Let's not jump to conclusions. Do you know what you're doing today? I do not. You are guessing people's sexual orientation. Okay. Queer. What are different sexual queer. orientations that you Are all three of the guessers queer? What's your sexual orientation? I am gay. Straight with a little bit of curiosity. Queer. Straight with a little bit of curiosity. This was two years ago. I wonder where she's at now. Capital Q queer. All the way. Yeah, Ready? Woody. Nice to meet you. I'm Forrest. 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 Right off the bat, I think you're queer. Oh. Do you find me sexy? I love the cut of the dress. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Do you find me sexy? Uh, I have a huge attraction to glasses. For me- Do you find me attractive? Yes. Okay, I mean, like, I think he's bi. I feel like I've seen you out before. Oh, okay. Like, at the gay bars. Ooh. <laughs> I will neither confirm nor deny. Okay. I feel like- Okay, 
So Forrest here is just so easily flirting with our boy. Whereas when the woman was like, do you find me attractive? He was like, I enjoy your dress and your glasses. Your accessorizing is good choices. And this guy's like, I've seen you out. And he's like, I'll neither confirm nor deny. Queer. I'm gonna guess gay, which is bold. Unfortunately, you were wrong. I'm straight. <gasps> wow. I don't even know where to start. I like <laughs> shook it. You're giving me. Okay, I never claimed to have good Kedar with men. I hate this video. This is embarrassing. Cause I even thought to myself, it might just be that he's intimidated by women. Cause he did eventually say yes, he was attracted to that woman. I'm like, maybe he just found her intimidating and was like scared to say how hot she was. Hello. Hi. Oh, she cute. I am getting queer vibes, but here's what I'm wondering. If like those vibes are coming to me through your like immaculate style. And if those style points came to you through queer exports. Yes, Woody. I think bye. She's got the t-shirt tucked in, cuffed, cuff top, cuff jeans, combat boots. She's got the septum piercing. And look, she's stylish. Like, look at that style. That's bi style. I would consider myself asexual. Well, okay, cut, come on, again. So that person was asexual. Am I wrong? Asexual folks who are watching this, is there not still a gender preference in like seeking companionship or is that, am I completely off the mark? I know ace folks still talk about having like squishes where it's like a crush but platonic, right? Where you have like a squish on someone where like you wanna be their friend or you want some sort of relationship with them but it's not necessarily sexual or romantic. Is there no gender preference within that type of attraction? Please educate me in the comments. I feel like those are two different spectrums. Tell me more. Tell me more in the comments. You're giving me like a little butchy vibes. Ooh. This is a, like a little- oh, Yeah, this is a, this is a queer person. Do you find me attractive? Oh uh, yeah, you're pretty. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about me? Do you find me attractive? I think you're very sexy. Mm -hmm. You're a lesbian. Oh. I mean, I thought she was a lesbian when she walked up. Was it the walk? No. It's the bottom half fashion, the way she's standing, and then just her face, like she's just very attractive. <laughs> and I'm gonna go with gay. And I'm gonna be, if I'm wrong, it's over for me. I'm attracted to men and women. Okay. Yeah. Do you Bye. say you're bisexual? No, I say I'm gay. Why don't you say you're bisexual? Gay. I'm not just interested in men and women. Like, I would date somebody who's uh, gender non conforming, okay. um, who's non binary. Queer. Are you gay? Uh, curious. Okay. Yeah. But you knew I was sexy. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Let's chat later. Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love this for our sundressed guesser here, our Miss Curious. Do you think that people's first assessments are accurate or inaccurate? I think people just think Muslim. How does that feel? I mean, they're right. <laughs> sure, sure. Do you think that all Muslims are straight? No. So, what do you think about me then? I'm sweating. I haven't been raised. Oh, she's got yet. mischief. She's got mischief in her eyes. And mischief to me reads bi. This video is just Elena drooling over bi women for 22 minutes straight. I'm not straight. I identify as pansexual. Hell yeah. Also love the Muslim queer representation. Can I see your tattoos? Yeah. You got That's anime really nice. tattoos and Leo symbol. Okay. And Are you a Leo? Yes. Anime wow. and astrology. Queer. I think he's gay. No, no, I'm not. Ugh. I'm straight. I can't read men. Or any of them, apparently. I feel like she's gazing into my eyes. <laughs> I think you're a lesbian. The long hair, you're very like conventionally attractive to me. I think you're straight. She doesn't read gay. But I'm lesbian. Lesbian! How? Like, how? How? This has me questioning everything. Like, I want to try to save face by being like, I think if I talk to them face to face, I'd be able to get a better vibe. But like, maybe Gaydar is just not as real as we think it is. Maybe Gaydar is based heavily on stereotyping. And maybe, for the most part, stereotyping is pretty useless. I think it's a continual learning process, right? To just like track your biases and figure out who those biases are serving. I think it's right that I should be wrong. Oh, oh, kitten. That was stressful and I wasn't even there. Oh boy. That 
was a learning experience. <laughs> hmm. Like Woody said, it's so important to continue addressing, facing, acknowledging our own biases, and then questioning who those biases are serving. Because they're clearly not serving me. <laughs> My worldview feels a bit shaken right now. It, I know it probably seems like I'm being dramatic, and I am a little bit, but what's new? <laughs> it really goes to show that you can't tell and you shouldn't assume whether somebody is queer, not queer, allosexual, asexual. Like you really can't look at somebody and know these things. That's it for this video. Another huge thank you to Love Honey for sponsoring. Remember that you can use the code Elena20 to get 20% off site-wide. The moxie is linked in my description. I recommend you check it out. As always, an extra thank you to my VIP patrons, my vitally important producers. You all make my world go round. I love you very much. You can be gay if you want to, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! People in the comments are hating on the sundress lady for like asking everyone if they thought she was attractive. It's a good question to gauge someone's sexual orientation is like the way that they answer that could be really helpful. Wow, they really don't like her. I feel differently. I thought she was a babe and I wanna know where she's at now and who she's dating. <laughs>